Hello and welcome to our 2020 classroom demonstration concert video. Uh, as you know, we've had to rethink how we do the performing arts this year and specifically how I do orchestra. Many of you know I've been here for quite some time and this is the first year that we have not had a fall or a winter concert, like in-person live concert. So we've had to kind of uh, change up the way we do things. And if I had to come up with one positive thing about this whole situation, I would say that we have had an opportunity to really work on specific skills and techniques that maybe we wouldn't have done originally with the pressure of a concert. Sometimes you, the focus becomes performing and not um, building techniques. So we hope you enjoy everything. This is basically just sort of um, a look, a glimpse into what we do on a daily basis since August. Some students are on Zoom, some students are in the class, and that changes day to day, week to week sometimes. Um, and the performance, most of what you're seeing on this video is going to be, as far as the music, it's going to be people that um, are in class at the time we recorded. So sometimes people suddenly would go remote and suddenly come in and out. And so I've tried to feature as many students as I can in the video so that you can hear from everyone. You'll get a chance to meet the musicians. They put together videos of themselves speaking and playing. So we really hope you enjoy this and we hope that we can perform these same pieces for you very soon, maybe in the spring, maybe not, um, in the form of a live in-person concert. We hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Patrick and I play the cello. The biggest challenge of playing an orchestra this year uh, during the pandemic is ensemble because it's very hard to communicate with others in the room. My favorite thing about orchestra class this year is the music because it's pretty fun. Hi, my name is Lily Panfield and I play the violin. The biggest challenge playing an orchestra so far during the pandemic is the seating because we are all so far apart from each other that it gets hard to hear the other section. My favorite part about orchestra class this year is the pieces because they give a chance to represent each section individually. My name is Elisa Middleyer and I play the violin. The biggest challenge of playing an orchestra this year during the pandemic is not being able to play with the entire orchestra because some people attend class virtually and don't get to experience of playing with everyone as a whole. My favorite thing about orchestra class this year is being able to play more advanced pieces and in advanced orchestra because I haven't been able to play these types of pieces in other orchestras that I've been in. Hi, I'm Gavin. I'm a senior at Machine and I play the cello. Um, and I think the hardest part about Jim Machine this year is we changed rooms because of Corona so we could have more space. And we can't really hear each other that well, all the sections, but we're getting through it. And we can't really have the same senior year either for us seniors because of Corona, but Ms. Callow is working her hardest to help us have the best senior year we can in orchestra, so I appreciate her for that. And the best part about orchestra this year is, for the past three years, I was in Philharmonia, 
And when I tried out this year, I finally got to be with my best friend and we can play together almost every day now, so that's nice. Hey, my name is Ali and I play the violin. So the biggest challenge this year for playing orchestra during a pandemic is basically being online because it's really hard to follow along everyone else in class when you're like playing at home by yourself. And my favorite thing about orchestra this year is that since I'm home, I have a lot more freedom to practice by myself. Hi, my name is Christina Kim and I play the violin. And the biggest challenge of playing orchestra this year during the pandemic was listening to one another because we are in the chorus room this year, which is a lot more echoey than our other room. My favorite thing about orchestra this year so far is the day that we recorded our Halloween songs for the primary school because it was just overall really fun and a great day to show off our costumes. Hello, my name is Akash and I play the violin. The biggest challenge I face in orchestra right now because of the pandemic is probably being so spread out from people in my group. It kind of makes following my stand partner it's still a little bit difficult, but it's manageable. My favorite thing about orchestra right now is the fact that I get to record myself for playtests. It's a thousand times better than playing under the pressure of my peers. This is the Woodward Academy String Machine. And today we thought we'd get you into the Halloween mood by playing a medley or a mashup of Halloween music. So without any further ado, arranged by Michael Hopkins, this is Halloween Dance Party.
my name is Annika Pomori and I play the violin. Um, the biggest challenge in orchestras this year because of the pandemic is probably just being able to hear each other and like ensemble work because we have to sit so far away from each other now. Um, but my favorite thing about orchestra class this year is I guess all that little like activities we get to do in class like playing um, in chamber groups or in sectionals because it's just I don't know, I find it really fun, um, but yeah. Hi, my name is Yuen Ling Tao and I play the violin. So the biggest challenge of playing orchestra this year during the pandemic is that everyone sits far apart, so it's hard to hear. And my favorite thing about orchestra class this year so far is that we added more different activities other than just playing our parts. Hi, I'm Josette and I'm a junior and I play the viola. One of the biggest challenges this year playing in the orchestra had to be not being able to do a concert, but given the circumstances, I'm just grateful to still be able to play with the ensemble and play new music. Hello, my name is Leo and I play the violin. Probably the biggest challenge of playing an orchestra this year during the pandemic, I would say, is playing in tune. Uh, mostly because I can't really do that under normal circumstances. So, you know, just add in the pandemic, you know, just all kind of compounds. Um, but my favorite thing about orchestra class this year so far is definitely leading my section because of the sense of power it gives me over my peers. Hi, my name is Kevin and I play the viola. Uh, the biggest challenge of playing an orchestra this year during the pandemic has probably been like lack of live performance opportunities because despite what people think having an audience there in person actually really helps the energy you can sort of feel it if the audience is feeling your performance or not despite what many people think and what you may see in recordings and um my favorite thing about orchestra this year so far is definitely the viola section just because of how many strong players we have and overall we're just at a very good point we're at a very good place where we need to be uh, yeah My name is Kai Moore, and yes, I do come from a musical family because my dad plays the piano and my little sister plays the viola. My first musical memory is my first piano recital when I was in kindergarten, and the most difficult thing about playing the violin is reaching high notes on the E string. I come from a musical family. 
I sort of come from a musical family. My dad, when he was young, he played the drums a lot for a lot of rock bands with just his friends, just for fun. So that's the only kind of side of music I have in my family. My earliest musical memory, I was like four years old. I was sitting by a pool and there was a man there and he was playing the guitar for everybody. And when I heard him play, I knew I wanted to play guitar as well. So ever since then, I started taking lessons to learn. Until about like sixth grade, I switched over to the cello, but I still also took lessons for guitar at the same time. And the hardest thing about playing the cello, probably as we progressively play harder pieces, trying not to jumble over my fingers with the fast speeds and shifting. Because when that happens, I usually just airbow. <laughs> so they don't hear me. Yes, I come from a musical family. My mom used to play the violin in college. My earliest memory is playing the national anthem at the Shriner Circus. And the most difficult thing about playing the violin is shifting. Hi, my name is Sophia Kay, and I do come from a musical family. My grandma was a music teacher. And then um, I, my earliest memory of music was when um, my first teacher, Mr. Art, he would have like a puppet, like a chicken puppet, and he would like um, tell you what to do and stuff. And then my, um, um, my the hardest part about playing vi my, my instrument, which is the violin, is that um, you have to get intonation right and bowing. I come from a musical family. My mom plays a bunch of random instruments. I play a bunch of random instruments. My dad plays bass and guitar, and my sisters play piano and violin. My earliest musical memory is when we played Jingle Bells when I was in fourth grade at the end of the concert, and me thinking we did so well after that, and then watching it again and realizing we were actually trash. The most difficult thing about playing the cello is having to adjust your um, rock stop every minute because it keeps slipping.
mom's side of the family is pretty musical. My mom played the piano a little bit. And then my uncle was the all-state percussionist, grades 6 through 12. Um, but my dad's side is not musical. I think he played the recorder for a couple months, but that's, that's it. <laughs> and then my earliest memory of music was I had a weird obsession with classical music when I was two or three. Um, and then I also started playing the piano when I was five. And the hardest thing about playing the cello is probably just like bringing everything together and just like remembering everything and like intonation when you start playing in higher registers. I do not come from an extremely musical family, but my grandmother does play the clarinet. My earliest musical memory is probably of my dad playing Christmas music every day when the holiday season rolls around. And the most difficult thing about playing bass is the shifting. Hi, I'm Tristy. Um, I don't come from a musical family. My earliest musical memory was playing in my first violin recital. Um, I think I played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on using pizzicato. Um, and the biggest challenge about playing violin is probably the posture, because if one thing is off with your posture, it can completely throw off your tone or your intonation. I don't really come from a musical family. My dad played piano when he was younger, and my mom once tried to play guitar and it didn't end very well. Um, my earliest musical memory is probably listening to the same baby Mozart CD for like 10 years. And the most difficult thing about playing viola, other than the viola jokes, is that I get really tense when I play. And my teacher sometimes says that I look like a turtle or that I look like I hate playing because I'm that tense. So that's probably the hardest part for me. Hey, my name is Lily, and I guess you could say that I kind of come from a musical family. Only on my mom's side, though, because she played piano for like 10 years, but now she barely plays. And my earliest musical memory would have to be my first ever violin lesson. I was so scared that when the teacher came to my house that I started crying and that she had to leave because she wouldn't be able to teach me. And the most difficult thing about playing the violin is that it doesn't matter how long you learn it for, like, you could be learning for like 10 years and you still sound kind of bad. It's like, it's not like piano when you could like play something and it doesn't sound bad at all. So. It's like a lot about practice and techniques and stuff like that.